nobody's perfect. I gotta work it. I don't wanna change it. I'm doing it right. Nobody's perfect. You live and you learn that. And if I mess it up sometimes, nobody's perfect. Trishy, wait, I don't want to call you that anymore because I am not standing with Trisha Paytas at all in this video. So I'm not going to call you my Trisha Fishies. I am protesting from saying you are my Trisha Fishies. You are now my little Gabby Hanna monsters. <laughs> sorry, it's not funny. Oh, I've chewed on my mouth, sorry. Why have I started the past two videos like that? <laughs> oh, Trisha, what the fuck are you doing? Oh my fucking God, Trisha. Oh, sorry. Trisha Paytas, what the fuck is going on? Trisha, as we all know, has had a little problem with Jimothy Charles recently. Let me get rid of my Spotify. And whenever I say little problem, I mean a big fucking problem. Let me move you over. Hello. It's like an ASMR. <laughs> She has been continuously coming after him, and he told her to keep his name out of her mouth, and that kind of fueled her even more. She's been calling him, you know, like all of these different words on the Hate Street. Am I okay? The Hate Street Hate Street podcast. Sorry, so many thoughts going through my head right now. And the thing that's probably been pissing her off the most is that he hasn't been responding. Or maybe that's the reason she keeps doing this because she knows that she can do it without him responding. I genuinely don't know what goes on in Trisha Paytas's head, nor do I want to know. And Trisha, I am making it very clear that I don't agree with fucking anything you have done that I'm going to talk about in this video. Uh, fine, you don't like James Charles. This is crossing a line. As we all know, there's currently a drama happening with Charlie D'Amelio. In my last video, we talk about it. She's getting called out for being ungrateful and thinking her fans are just numbers. You can go watch that video if you want. I'm not getting into it because I literally filmed it maybe an hour ago. And Trisha Paytas immediately started attacking Charlie D'Amelio. Then James Charles did a tweet we're going to read out in a second, basically being like, imagine being 30 and coming for people half your age. Then Trisha Paytas immediately, boom, 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 you know, Vava Va Vroom by Nicki Minaj? That. She did that. She like cranked it up. You know, Roman holiday, Roman holiday. Adam, I started the video to high energy and I feel like I'm setting myself up for failure. Let me... I'm more calm now. <laughs> So she then used that as fuel to keep coming after him and insinuate that James Charles' relationship with Charlie D'Amelio, James Charles is 21, I believe, and Charlie D'Amelio is 16, she is making it seem like James Charles has an inappropriate relationship with Charlie D'Amelio, which is completely fucking false because James Charles is friends with the D'Amelio family. He's made that very clear. Whatever your opinions are of him being friends with these people, whatever, he's mainly friends with Dixie D'Amelio who's nearly 20 years old. There's a difference. There's a family involved here. The parents who are like in their 40s. This is being twisted by Trisha Paytas to be like, James Charles is in an inappropriate friendship and insinuating almost more with a 16 year old, which is not the case. And all these things she's saying are completely, no, not true. And I'm, I have no problem saying that. I normally am like, oh, like they said this and okay, no. This is, what, why does she feel the need? Okay, I'm going to get to my theories on why I believe she comes after James so fucking strong. We get it. James Charles ruined your best friend Shane Dawson's fucking image. And your best friend, ex-friend, best friend, fucking Jeffree Star. Right. Okay. Fine. But these tweets are taking it way too fucking far, Trisha. And you know that. You know that. So James Charles tweeted the following thing. He said, this Charlie situation is not sitting right with me. She was losing millions upon millions of followers. You really do need to go watch my last video, not to plug it, sorry, hey bestie, to understand. This Charlie situation is not sitting right with me. 100 million followers in one year, which is fucking crazy, by the way. And y'all expect her to know how to be a perfect role model? Death threats because she's a picky eater and made a joke about a milestone? 30 plus year olds dragging someone half their age? feels familiar, insinuating the Jeffrey and Shane to him, drama again to May of 2019, which is a very true point. And whenever I read this tweet, I was like, yeah, he has a point here. No, I've made it very clear that my opinions on the Charlie D'Amelio situation is that she, everyone, you can read the comment section of my last video, people are divided. I personally believe, and I stand by it, that it's more the management and the parents' fault. You can say she's a teenager and she knows because she's a teenager, whatever. I just personally believe, sorry, my back is itchy. He wants to come rub it. <laughs> Sorry. 
was weird. <laughs> I believe it's more on the parents and the management who let this stuff go by. That's my opinion of it. So anyway, Trisha Paytas responded. Now keep in mind, her previous tweet to this was just try and dunk in new holiday drinks. If only it could be that unproblematic. But then, seven hours later, she tweeted this. Per parenting on your parents. Starting off, not the best, Trisha. Per parenting on your parents and James for allowing you to be friends with Taddy, a middle-aged woman while you were a teen. Unfortunately, you were the victim then. But now Charlie is the victim. What? Literally, what is the... You being friends with a minor is predatory. What the fuck, Trisha? Can you see this? Here you go. You can see this now. You can read that yourself. In what world is this tweet, um, something you... Tr Trisha, no. This is... I read this and went... Where's the substance here? Trisha, this is bullshit. Then, she quoted his tweet again and said, Imagine always being the victim in every situation. James, how do you do it? How are you so perfect? Like, where is the need for this? How are you so perfect? I know it's easy to deflect to me now, but imagine being James Charles, more hated than even Trisha Paytas. Phew, what a feat. P.S. Stop stealing small creators' art, clothing, me, M.U. looks, makeup looks, okay, etc. Keep in mind... This all stemmed from a video where Charlie, her mom, her dad, her sister, her sister who's nearly the same age as James Charles, and James Charles were at a table being interviewed, you know, interviewing James Charles, having normal conversations, and Trisha Paytas is saying from that video, which James Charles does nothing wrong in, he literally just sits there, minds his own business, makes a couple jokes, that that's inappropriate. I genuinely am thinking whether Trisha Paytas believes what she's saying or she just wants a little segment she can talk about on the H3H3 podcast. Let me know, because James Charles has been something she's talked about a lot on that podcast. So, it goes on. People use me to deflect because of my reputation of trolling and being cancelled. I'm fine with it. I was here before they could walk and I'll be here long after they cancel themselves with their cocky ass, we're better than you attitudes. It doesn't get you anywhere. So keep on going, right? Then it goes on. Bad attitudes. So I'm just, there's, there's a lot going on here, Trisha. And for what? And for what? This is, whenever I saw this, I went, there's no way. Bad attitudes are the fall of some huge A-list celebs who are actually talented. Is Trisha trying to tell us she's like good attitude? What's going on here? And you can bet the same goes for D-list hacks like James. Now, I'm no James Charles fan, but James Charles is not a D-list hack. I think it's very clear to say that, right? James Charles is far from a D-list hack whenever he is like Kylie Jenner, Lil Nas X. Who else on his channel? Fucking all of the celebrities. You know, James Charles is respected in the makeup and outer celebrity world, whether you want to admit it or not, Trisha. Now, come on now. Then, someone called Daniel tweeted, One minute, you love Trisha Paytas, and the next, you hate her. Y'all are so fake. Then, she quoted it, Literally my life. It doesn't even feel like me without the roller coaster. It goes on. Definitely have said that no one deserves to be cancelled. Everyone has room for growth. Positive influence. Except James Charles. Keep in mind, all he did in this video was sit down at the table. <laughs> Please cancel him. He's a forever victim with a superiority conflict. Has never said sorry his whole life. Hangs out with an underage girl regularly. No one's believing this narrative, Trisha. He's friends with Dixie D'Amelio, a 19-year-old girl who's about to be 20. He's 21. The parents and Charlie like the entire group of those TikTokers are. That's why no one's believing this narrative you're spinning. Sorry, this is like crazy to talk about because I'm like, you know what I mean? This is a low blow and for what? And for what? Goes on. 
I love that I'm the crazy because I speak my mind. The cool thing is, I am 32 and old AF and I make money offline so couldn't give a shit if millennials like me or not. But also, 95% of LA influencers are fake AF. Sorry, I'm the realist. Okay. Oh, she just tweeted a new one. Literally, the second I've done. I'm gonna quote it. I'm just gonna say, give it up, girl. Actually, I'm not logged into Twitter. Never mind. She just tweeted this second. James Charles really thought he did something. He fat shamed me, now he age shamed me. But I never called you a groomer. Hanging out with minors as an adult, however, is predator shit. <sighs> I assume this is gonna go on and on and on. And here's the thing, that's only the tweets. There's more. There is more. Here we go, from TikTok. Oh, I had to come back because our favorite forever victims, James Charles, subtweeted this about me, 30 plus year old, dragging someone half their age. Hey, you young kids and kittens, the reason why you're so rich is because people talk about you. I'm allowed to comment on people I've never even met before. I was Isn't it funny, Trisha? I've called you out for this a lot. You came after Sanders Kennedy for the thing that you and H3H3 do now. And your reasoning behind it is you say, you're a public figure, I'm allowed to talk about you. But I'm in no way defending Sanders Kennedy because it's not just him. You come after a lot of drama channels saying that they shouldn't be allowed and deplatform them and stuff like that. Whenever, Trisha, you're now doing the same thing. And whenever you're talking about that, you do seem self-aware in that because you do say that, oh, I'm doing what I called them like for. You said that in H3 podcast. So I'm glad you are in that. But just remember what you were doing during summer and saying about drama channels, okay? Oh, being friends with you, James, underage. You are also 21 years old, friends with an underage minor. 21 is young. Can we, can we normalize that when you're in your 20s, you're not like about to die? Tati took advantage of you by being friends with you. You're doing that with Charlie. I haven't been friends with you. I haven't been friends with Charlie. I am not friends with a minor. I am simply someone on social media giving comments. And just because you don't like me, James. Charlie also came after me because those words were exactly the words that came out of your mouth. Keep my name out of your mouth. I'm going to keep talking about you. As long as you're on social media, if you are open for criticism. There's no hate. There's no bullying. There's no foul misconduct. Except for you being friends with a 16-year-old girl. Ew. Oh, had to come and this has 234,000 likes. There's more. How is it that James Charles is the victim in every single situation? That's it. I've never, I've never heard of someone so innocent and just always the victim. Don't you ever, ever put me in the same category as giving someone death threats. I have never given someone death threats ever. The people, as Press Hilton said, that are giving people death threats are young kids. People 30 plus, 40 plus. We're on here giving y'all some constructive criticism. James, you ain't gonna last. You're the next Tyler Oakley going into obscurity real soon because you have no humiliate, humility. You don't take any accountability. You keep going around, walking around with no masks, laughing with people with no masks, endangering so many people, and you're always the victim. Oh, you're stealing designs from people? I'm the victim. Oh, you stole a makeup look from someone for your palette? I'm the victim. The only time you've ever been a victim is when your parents allowed you to be friends with a middle-aged woman. Now Charlie is the underage victim to you, James. How is it that James Charles is the victim? I honestly don't think it's necessary to add commentary to what I just watched. Would you agree? There's more though. Mental breakdown is over. I had my chicken fries and I'm feeling just all right. There's a huge difference between dragging someone and giving someone constructive commentary. These kids are young. They don't really know the difference, I suppose, because they're very defensive. Charlie had a brief lapse of a bratty attitude. She got called out for it. She shows some remorse. Um, her clap back at me was obviously James inspired. See now, unfortunately for you, James, and yes, this is a drag. You have zero likability. You have zero credibility. You're shady. You're scummy. And you're getting away with things now, but it won't last forever. Look at your friend, Tati. Lawsuits, cancellation, isolation. 
is coming in your near future. I've been around 13 years. I've seen it happen time and time again. And James, your time, your time will come unless you can just get some humility. Be humble. Mental breakdown is over. Okay. <sighs> Okay.